Hey, yeah, what's up? This disciple Marcello Kearns reigned back up in this anti-Illuminati all day, anti-America all day. So this message is part two of um, the American spiritual Olympic team that they have that is uh, that is uh, collected different spiritual personalities, the ones the, the ones the best that they could find. What, what Christians need to realize is they're using it against you. Now, I know you might say, well, is that indirectly? Because in, in the art of war, we understand that there's only two types of attacks, direct and indirect. Right? We understand this. See, another thing is half of you across this world has not have not progressed the strategies of, of Sun Tzu. You should have built, we should have been building on that. That's just a little side information. Direct and indirect attacks, right? Okay. Some would say that um, these spiritual attacks, all these spiritual attacks that's happened. This stuff that, that that is going on, right? It's directly against Christians. It's not, oh well, they're indirectly attacking us because we're they're sinners. No, they're directly attacking you. If we was looking at definitions based on the art of war by uh, military strategists. Sun Tzu, you are being direct, directly attacked. You're not being indirectly attacked because they are sinners and they are indirectly attacking you because of their sinful systems and their sinful ways. They're directly attacking Christians. Yeah, this is what it's come to. And many of you American Christians are, not, are never going to believe what I'm telling you. You, and then for some of you, you believe on the level where it's witches and warlocks that are against you or trying to hex you. Some of you understand that. Yeah, you understand that. But then the higher levels of understanding is, is that the American community, hear this part. Because you got the witch and warlock. Some of you have graduated to where, okay, you know that, that there are witches and warlocks in the community that are targeting you and are targeting your videos that you do on YouTube. They're, they're uh, watching you on live. You, you've, you've understood this part. But this is what you really did. This is the highest level, higher levels that you didn't understand. They have pulled together, this is real, a spiritual Olympic team that has all the best witches, all the best warlocks, all the best spiritual gypsies in, that can curse and hex people, all of the, all those kind of spiritual uh, personalities and different denominations. They That's the best way to tell you. All these different spiritual denominations on the dark side, they have pulled them all together in a spiritual Olympic dream team against you Christians. That's why you're being targeted. That explains why there's a whole network against you. That explains all the spiritual warfare you're going through. So you looked at it as a couple witches, a couple warlocks. No, it's a whole spiritual Olympic team of people that the Americans have picked out from spiritual people, the best of those people, to fight against Christians in this all-out war at the end of times. And this is why COVID came on the scene. Now, this many of you, you don't have your, your, your ear to the spiritual streets. You got your ear to the natural streets, and you, you, and you know the streets are watching. I'm talking about having your, spiritual, your ears to the spiritual streets and, and listen to the prophets that's watching. You don't worry about the streets that's watching. They ain't just as, they, they, they're, they're, uh, they're close to being victims. And they're close to being casualties of war. Okay, what the streets gonna do if it if it turn up just one more notch and you get martial law? What they gonna do? <laughs> what 
What are street people going to do? What are thugs and gangsters going to do? If, if there's martial law in the curfew, you're going to go home. That's what you're going to do. You're going to go home in 10 o'clock if there's a martial law curfew in your, in your city. That's what you're going to do. Okay, they're subject to everything else. What you need to understand, these thugs and gangsters are subject to everything else, just like everybody else. In fact, they the ones going to jail. In fact, they the ones going back and forth to the courthouse. How they how they got any freedom over you, uh, the rule and reign over, over everybody? Make it make sense. They back and forth to jail. They, they barely out of jail. They barely out of prison. They on probation for five years. They on probate. They on parole for ten years. That's what we talking about. So how they ruling and reigning? Come on, man, stop playing. What you have to understand, you as Christians are at the top of the spiritual food sh- food chain. You are at the top of the spiritual food chain, and I got to do a video on this. You are at you are at the at the top of the spiritual food chain. Ain't no witches and warlocks able to defeat you. That's why they got them all. They got all these people to one person. I'm one person, and they got all these people. See, I told you I was gonna make it parallel, my situation parallel to your situation, which means it, which means I'm gonna show you my situation, and you're gonna see your situation. If you high ranking, you're gonna see your situation. If you out here ministering in America. You're going to see your situation. They got all these people they using against you in this Mickey Mouse carnival carnival game, this fun house game that's coming to an end. That's why they got COVID. Um, they using all these people against you and um, in this game. And they, and they think it's all they think it's they think that they, they, they can um, they can fight against you. But you're at the top of the spiritual food chain. They beneath you. That's why it's one person and all of them. If they were bad, they would be able to use one person and defeat you. Why can't they use one person to defeat you totally? Why can't they defeat you totally with one person? Because you are at the top of the spiritual food chain. Look how many it takes of them and they still ain't done nothing to you. They still ain't done nothing to you because they're weaker than they project themselves to be. They weak when it comes to us. They weak. They're weak when it comes to the body of Christ. And at the same time, like we made, like I made clear to my enemies, we are, we, we have the ability to set the, the African Americans free for all you people that practice voodoo and hoodoo. You have no plan to set the African Americans free and see, that's how I outrank you. You you doing hexes and curses. I'm talking about setting setting people free. That's why I lose you. That's where you're out of league when it comes to me. You're out of league. You ain't got no plan. You ain't got no solutions. You don't have no power to deliver a whole African American community. And if you did, you would have been done it. So you see how you out of league with me? I got the answers. I got the delivery. I got the power, and you don't. That's the difference. That is the difference, you know, and um, that's why I will not be named among the likes of people who do not have the delivery or the information to deliver. I have both spiritual power to deliver and information to deliver. They have neither. They have neither. That's why I would not be compared to voodoo practitioners and hoodoo practitioners who have no deliverance, no power to deliverance, and no information to deliver. That's two different lanes and two different leagues. I mean, you know, I got alliance with different nations. My face is seen in different countries. Okay? You're here in America sitting on a chair somewhere, on a funky chair, trying to read people's situation, trying to give people's uh, curse solutions and giving them, giving them potions and stuff. I'm ta- My face is in different countries. I'm sending money to different countries. What you doing? Okay, come on now. So let's get it understood. There, before I get into this team of people, let's understand that they're beneath us. They're, they're under us. 
right? We're at the top of the spiritual food chain. That's all you have to understand. What you have to do as an American Christian is get all the Americanized Christianity out of you. Everything here is Americanized. That's their that's they whole strategy is to Americanize the black people, Americanize the Mexicans, Americanize the Puerto Ricans, Americanize the Christianity, and they even Americanize the Illuminati secret society. Okay, explain to me then why the Americanized Illuminati doesn't have the same plans as Adam Wiesip. As Adam Wiesip was not a, 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 some type of witch and more like gang stalking and play, had plans of world domination and gang stalking. That is a pro, th- th- this what you have going on is nothing but funky Americanized Illuminati that was not the uh, the pl- that has nothing to do with the original Illuminati and its plans. It's just a product of America. That's all it is. That's why it is the way it is. That's why Christianity is the way it is. Look at Christianity. Look at all the stuff that's going on. Christianity Christianity is not even right. You think a secret society is going to be right? <laughs> the Christianity ain't even right. You think a weak group of people is is going to be able to that's here going to be able to fend off American being Americanized? They're Americanized too. They're Americanized too. 